We're particularly excited about working with Procerian for heart pumps. Procerian have got a, a beautiful, very small pump which can be deployed with minimal surgery. And so they have the prospect of getting into stage three heart failure patients where all the other pump companies are targeting sort of stage four end of life patients who, who really are, are in deep trouble and so they've got no other alternative and, and they're quite sick patients anyway. Whereas Procerian's device can go into patients which aren't quite at the, the end of the road so there's a better prospect of turning their, their health status around. And again, our contribution is by being able to power their pump without the risk of infection running a wire out through the skin. So again, it's about minimizing the risk because these patients, um, the current problem with having a wire poking out and the infections that brings really wouldn't be suitable for stage three heart failure patients. Stage four, they've really got very limited prospects. So the risk of an infection is deemed to be acceptable, but the much bigger opportunities looking after these not so sick patients where we've got to reduce the risk and our wireless power for powering that Brasserian heart pump is a big step towards lowering that risk um, to get to that much bigger group of patients. What we've been awarded is an SBIR grant which is a phase one grant which really lets us do some initial feasibility work to look at the technical risks and that'll lead into a phase two grant which enables us to get to uh, clinical trials or first in man trials will be the output from a, a phase two grant. At this stage the phase one is really focusing on the core risks and showing feasibility for moving into a phase two grant. One of the key technical challenges for powering the heart pump is sorting out or managing the alignment between the coil on the inside and the coil on the outside. So we'll be testing that in, a, in an animal trial and we'll be monitoring the temperature of those coils and just showing that although we're transferring a lot of power, the heating side effects are well within the capacity of the tissue and the skin to dissipate that relatively small amount of heat generated. So the key things for this trial is really demonstrating that the heat is very low and that the tolerance to misalignment between those coils is, is within acceptable limits. <music>